Hello guys, uh, it's me again with a quick short video. Hopefully it's gonna be a short one. <laughs> I just wanted to um, talk about the ETM, the electronic ticket machine that we use. I mean, most old drivers will not have an issue with this, but for new drivers that are struggling a bit, uh, this might help you um, in terms of difficulty or trying to log in or trying to get curtailments and other good stuff but before we do that i want to um thank you guys um for subscribing to the channel you guys are the best um i appreciate you guys and yeah um your support makes me put out these videos and i can't thank you guys enough okay so let's get to the video the first thing we're going to do is to log in so we're going to log in we're going to press the enter button we're going to log in our details depending on your garage or company you need to put a pin after your user id you're going to choose your garage number check the bus yes operation number that's your running number i'm going to use my running number today duty i'm on the n136 today so most times when you're trying most for the late drivers you know when you're trying to log in your night bus we don't have any alphabets on the dial pads so in order for you to look for your night bus on your route you need to use the scroll button up and down so here we have 436 so you're going to use the scroll key to look for your night route looking for n136 so yep n136 i'm going to put our trip so we're logged in now so first things first i'm going to talk about these buttons what they do this ones as well so this one we're going to start from this line at the moment that doesn't do anything that doesn't do anything i think that's when you accept cash um it can, uh, payment if it registers here then yes you can actually click it and see whatever information you're going to get but at the moment it's saying cash fare not available so we don't have any scan into the system yet so that one nothing 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 okay so the next one we're going to look at is this button and that one says reader so we're going to read click the button and it says readers okay so i think that means that your oyster reader is working fine so there's really nothing to do there to exit push the c button that's your dial pad this is your dial pad so we're going to use uh, try the card button here so now we have three options card details so if you have sometimes you get this uh, passengers that board your bus and maybe because they are on a job or something their company might require them to get a receipt of their expenses so if they ask you for your receipts if you have the time to issue them a receipt you can click your card details right here and it say touch oyster card i'm gonna grab my oyster card where is it okay so it's gonna say touch oyster card you're gonna to touch your oyster card yep and all information about that oyster card is going to be displayed on your system so you can print that statement yep and you can issue them their receipt so it will tell them everything how whatever they have spent on the oyster card and blah 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 so they have it here they can give it to their company and as well for those that don't usually have their um that come and claim that they um actually topped up the oyster card and it shows there's no money you can actually like print a statement for them as well and show them you know their transaction as well so if they actually made a payment 
to top up their oyster and the oyster payment didn't go through at least they have a receipt and they can sort it out with whatever um, outlet they went to to get the oyster topped up so this is done we're going to go card usage because we've got prints then we've got card usage we're going to click card usage so card usage just going to tell you the last time the person used their um, oyster card so you can actually give them this information that the last time you used your oyster card was on so so date so so time on what route yeah you have it there so we're gonna exit so we've got print we've got card details i'm gonna exit so when we exit we've got stop oyster card so stop oyster card you can't do that only the um revenue the inspectors can actually do that so we don't have a problem with that one next we have cancel card operation so cancel card operation i don't know if this is going to work for um bank cards you know contactless cards i think it's just for oyster cards i think only oyster i'm not sure if the bank cards will work but if you want to refund someone that has mistakenly tapped on your um tapped into your um, oyster radar to board your bus and you know you want to help the person in getting a refund i think you have a maximum of 30 seconds i think so by the time you have a conversation with the person 30 seconds is up so <laughs> that refund or whatever is gone the person will have to get deal with that with tfl but if you're within the window you can just press the cancel card operation number op operation so the person if the person has touched in and they're within 30 seconds of that time if you click cancel card operation that transaction is going to come up so the person will have to touch the oyster and it's going to cancel and they'll get their refund i don't have my uh bank card on me anyways because <laughs> i leave mine in my locker though so <laughs> okay so we're going to exit so that's all for cards so we're going to exit back to our main screen so here we have six buttons up here i don't i've i've not used these four buttons we've got adult child fair view other tickets we have other passes but these two i know i used a few times and that was for people that came in with their travel their paper travel card so if they came in you just use this to like count how many you know how many passengers are boarding your bus you know you got wheelchair as well so if you had a wheelchair you would count how many wheelchair you've had in your bus as well i mean that's how far i know that i know about these two buttons but for the rest um i don't have a clue but i'm sure that the same that the same anyways okay so we're going to go down to the red button down here so we've got end journey so of course we all know what end journey means if um tfl calls puts a call out and require us to accept um, certain passengers from certain stations and give us give us our LUL code we will need to put in that LUL code so those passengers that are leaving those stations won't be charged an extra fare for their travel so what we're going to do is we're going to end journey and you're going to click your enter so your journey is going to end or right, you got the list of your, your driver, check bus operator, duty route, everything. But you got LOL down here and it says no. So we want to put in the code from TFL to accept these passengers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna enter again. We're gonna click enter again. And it's gonna say trip. We're gonna put our trip. I'm gonna click enter again. And now it's going to sell, say LUL resolution. So now is your time, is your opportunity to put that code in. So you're going to say yes. You're going to use that scroll button to say yes. And you're going to click enter. And it's going to ask you for the code. So let's say TFL has put out um, a 111 code for us to put in our ticket machine. We're going to click 111. I'm going to click enter. so at the moment you can accept passengers from the stations that want to get to that destinations without being charged um, extra 
if you want to cancel the LUL you need to go back to your red button here you have to end journey you have to end journey uh, click enter and yep your journey is going to end then you have to start your journey again so you're going to click enter and you're going to ask for your trip you're going to put your trip you're going to click enter and you're going to ask for get lol resolution you're going to say no and you're going to click enter and that's it so you have your lul cancelled so that is it for end journey so we're going to go driver sign off everyone knows driver sign off Depending on, uh, depending on your company, if you want to sign off, you got to click enter, and there you have signed off already. So your docket, don't forget to fill in your docket if you're late night. <laughs> All right, let's quickly sign on again. Okay, so we're back on, we've signed on again. So, end journey we've done, driver sign off we've done. So now driver's brake, that nothing happens with driver's, driver's brake. So if you click driver's brake, it's gonna ask you to put in your pin, you put in your pin and nothing happens. So yeah, that driver's brake isn't relevant to us at the moment, I think, I don't know. Yep, we got curtailment. So curtailment, of course we know curtailment. You click a curtailment, you give your passenger the ticket, the transfer ticket. Next we have driver functions menu. We will click that. We're gonna have inspector. So sometimes this one, sometimes your pressing buttons and the receipts for the inspector doesn't come out. So it happens to me sometimes. I do forget. But the easiest way to get your inspector tickets out is with the inspector says his number is one 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 like four ones so you're gonna give inspector one 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 so four numbers click inspector that's your ticket for your inspector so you give your inspector his ticket then we got paper status so let's see what our paper status is so at the moment we have 621 tickets left so that will give you a rough idea of how many um, two rows or ticket rows you have. So of course, 621 is a lot. So yeah, that will do us for the day. Then we have driver settings, backlight high, backlight low. So high, low, so we'll leave it on high so we can see what we're doing at the moment. We've got contrast increase. So that's the highest. If you click that decrease, you get a better view. So we just set it about there. So that's so we're gonna go back. So so driver functions menu and driver totals. So we don't use this anymore. So it's start time date start time date so time date cash zero i don't know if it's candle candle cash i'm seeing here candle cash zero net cash zero so i'm sure back in the days when we were taking cash um this was a thing but at the moment we don't use it anymore so that's relevant to us exit end journey done driver sign off done driver breakdown curtailment done driver functions menu done readers were true with that and cards were true with that so that is it quite um i don't know it was hopefully it's not a long video but yeah that is that is it um i hope this video was helpful if there's one or two things i missed please be sure to leave it in the comments and yeah i will see you guys in the next video if you're new don't forget to subscribe like the video as well i appreciate you guys and thank you guys so much for your support and yeah i'll keep getting the videos out thank you so much and take good care of yourselves guys peace